that's that's my brain right now this is a great idea this is the word worst idea in the world this is awesome this is horrible hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is riley k jones i'm a writer teacher and author tuber and today we have started the act three revisions didn't think this day would come after two weeks of being behind schedule on act two. Act two was a killer. I'm finally moving into act three, which I think I have plotted out better. So it should go pretty quickly. Eek. Also, look who came into the mail today. I have a bit of a red theme going on <laughs> right now. But I'm so excited to sink my teeth into these ones soon. So be on the lookout for a book review over those titles in the future. Hello everybody. So it's been a very interesting April Fool's Day. <laughs> um, one, the temperature like dropped so cold. I'm like it's back to winter. I'm like thanks Mother Nature. <laughs> it is cold <laughs> as heck. Uh, so happy April Fool's. And then I was driving to my appointment that I had this morning and as I'm pulling up my driveway, my car, thank goodness, tells me when my tire pressure is really low. And it was like, your tire pressure on this one, one tire is like really low. And I'm like, and it's at air now. I'm like, why is this so low? So I go to a gas station that was like um, maybe a half mile, mile down the road. And you can't find the stupid air pump. I'm already at this point like, five minutes until my appointment I'm like and it's like 10 minutes away I'm like I'm not gonna get there time so I call them and I'm like hey I'm gonna be late they're like oh, okay don't worry we'll schedule it for like 15 minutes later from now well find the air pump realize oh I also need gas <laughs> gas in the car by that time by that time I was like oh I'm gonna be late to the other appointment so I had to call them back and then arrived about 10 minutes early to my third scheduled appointment. Thankfully, it was not a doctor's office because doctor's office, they do, they do not let you reschedule at all. You have to go to a different day. Thankfully, it's just a beauty appointment, so. But that has been my morning. The craziness of April Fools. Well, we'll catch you back. Maybe this time with a little reading. I mean, a little writing, because I'm weird. <laughs> Got you back in, in about a little while with maybe some writing or some shopping. We'll see what I feel like today. All right, so we're back from shopping. Walked into Home Goods for one thing. Came back outside with like 20 things. Happens with Home Goods, but things that I kind of needed kind of needed not really needed more like oh that'd be nice don't have that so why not um and now I'm going to go grocery shopping so see you there So I wanted to check back in with you guys. So I started writing act, rewriting act three this um, today and yesterday. Um, so most of my day was spent actually doing errands and yesterday and cleaning up the house because her family is coming over. Um, but I kept running into this thing with act three. I don't know why. Like I had no clue why this is happening for act three, but. In Act 3, I keep thinking about like, oh, what does this setting make sense for this to happen? Or should I have it somewhere else? Should I do it with these characters having discovering this thing? Or should I have 
her discover it on her cell own and I'm like really struggling because my character she does things on her own a lot but like that's kind of part of like the trope of like an investigator is they just do things on their own um especially towards this part where like there's a part in a thriller beats where the investigator character is supposed to go off alone and like and then run into the arms of danger and so i think i have that like set up a different way but i'm struggling to be like well should she be constantly on her own in act three or should she really rely on people around her more um or just completely disregard them and i'm like i don't know like kind of like include them but i don't know i really don't and i i probably have said the same thing over and over again so yeah sorry guys but I am conflicted, as you can tell, of what I should do. Like, you know that clip from Tangled where she's like, this is the best day ever, this is the worst day ever, this is the, that's, that's my brain right now. This is a great idea, this is the worst idea in the world. This is awesome, this is horrible. <laughs> like, it's, I'm not satisfied, it's like two extremes either way. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> but it will be fine, it will be fine. So that's just a little update for me. I don't know if I'll be able to do any kind of um, any more updates today or it might be a few days. So I want you just to have that update recorded and to let you guys know in the future what I decide. Hello everyone, it's been a few minutes for you and a couple days for me. Um, like I had predicted that Easter weekend was busy, did not have a lot of time to write, but I actually had a really cool idea, really cool. So, and I ran it through my mentor and we're loving it and it's really coming together. So I'm really excited for that. And it has been a beautiful day outside today. So I thought I would come outside, We've got the grill going and we will be doing some writing outside today. I'm super excited because I love me some fresh air and there's a dog. All right, time lapse. All right, so it's been a few hours. My plan was to write outside. I ended up just eating outside, which was nice, but now it's like almost bedtime and I haven't written a single thing. And there's cat, so yay kitty. But that just didn't go as planned, but it's okay. We will try to get some writing done tonight. We won't have any time lapse because couches has been my spot right now. So we're not going to move. <laughs> I will you guys, update you guys in the next clip, probably in a day or so. Hello, everyone. It is another beautiful day outside, so I have come out do a little bit of work before we lose the sunlight and as I saw in the clip right before this yesterday I attempted to do some writing on the couch funny story yeah I kind of totally fell asleep in the middle of writing that has never happened before like literally in the middle of a sentence I fell asleep so I was tired yesterday, but today I have a little more energy, it is a little bit earlier, so I am going to get working on, actually not writing, but crafting the lore of the spooky boogeyman type thing that is in the, in my book. So I was talking with a coworker today about different mining folklore and I have hit a jackpot of inspiration to really flesh out this boogeyman character um, and story within my book. And I'm so excited to get to that. So I'm gonna work on that today and then also go back to edits and getting act three done. Hopefully this weekend, maybe next weekend, we will see how it goes. All right, on the time lapse.
Okay, so it's starting to get cold out here, so I'm gonna probably move inside soon. But update, I definitely have discovered some symbolism and more lore for the book, which I'm so excited for to interweave into the book and really make this boogeyman character really stand out. And it's gonna play in so well, and I'm so excited. Ah, okay, so. For you, it'll be like half a second. For me, it's gonna be a couple hours before I go back into writing this part in another time lapse, but we'll get there. See you then. Hello, everyone. So we are back. Did not do a lot of writing yesterday when I got back inside. Ended up doing some video editing for today's video. So that went up live this afternoon. So back at it again. I did finish the boogeyman element, um, at least on paper, and now I need to type it up digitally to send to my mentor because I told her that I would do that so we can talk that over soon. So I'm really excited about that. And then hopefully today we can get more actual edits in for the book. All right, here we go. inside um i didn't spend too much time outside it was actually kind of cold like in the shade so moved back in here finished the boogeyman style creature in the back um the background for for him so that was kind of fun and also creepy and then i drew a picture and i'm gonna show you the picture because my mentor said that maybe and should be included in the book one day. And I'm like, well, it's kind of creepy. Now this is just a mock-up. It's probably going to be a lot creepier, in my opinion. I feel like it needs to be creepier. Um, and that is the creature. Yeah, he is quite terrifying, if I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, and so now we're gonna get some time-lapse and working on act three. Um, I don't really have a goal for tonight because it's getting late. I'm tired and it is what it is. I just kind of, whatever I get done, I get done tonight. All right, here we go. Oh, also something really sad happened to me at work the other day. I had my computer like placed on my podium like I do every single day, every single day. And this time it decided to leap off the podium and onto the floor. And so now I have this lovely dent in my computer. There could have been a lot worse things that have happened, could have happened to the computer, like a screen cracking or not working. So I'm thankful that, you know, it didn't completely destroy my computer. But I don't even know what happened. It just leapt from, like literally leapt from the podium. I was like, I don't know what happened. <sighs> it's frustrating. Oh well. Oh, and if you haven't noticed already, this has become my new favorite hoodie. So I've been wearing it a lot lately. So it looks like all my shots are filmed in the same day. No, it's just because I really like this hoodie. It's just cute and it's very me. So that's why. <laughs>
Okay, so it's been about an hour. I have really edited a few scenes that I needed to edit it, edit. Um, there are still some scenes that I need to go back and go through more, but I'm keep, as I keep going through these chapters and smoothing things over, it's really coming together. So I'm going to end that today's clips there. I'm probably going to do a little bit more work, but I figured I probably won't be up too much later as I do need to go to bed soon. So I'll see you guys soon with a new clip. It's going good. It's going good. Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It has been a few days. It is a beautiful day out. And I'm so glad to at least catch the last few hours of the glorious sun before dinner time outside. And we're doing a very yellow theme today. We got yellow shirt, yellow lemons, and then my tablecloth I just got had lemons on it. Feeling very yellow and springy today. So I just wanted to update you guys on the progress that I've been making. So this weekend had some unexpected, unexpected um, things that happened this weekend. So I didn't get as many words in or a ability, just ignore the dog next door, um, the ability to really sit down and write a ton and film it but I did write a bunch and I got a lot done so I'm getting close to the climax scene and I'm really excited things are starting to really fall into place in the manuscript and I'm very psyched and very pumped to see the finished draft of this this version it is wild and I am so happy that it's where it is now because it is so much better than it was before and so, yeah, we'll get to it. We'll live at the time lapse. It's crazy how fast in the spring you get really hot and then really cold. I'm now chilly and I have my sweater. It's just because I think I'm in the shade and I put my hair down so I'm like, oh, I'm cold. So it's a little crazy, but I am stuck on a problem. I have no idea what to do. So I'm trying to brainstorm my, the scene and how it plays out. Like I have ideas of like, oh, this thing needs to happen. This thing needs to happen. That needs to happen. But I'm trying to figure out how to like really thread them all together so they all make sense, that the order seems natural, and yet there's no like dead space because like I'm really close to finding like the finding the bad guys and like all that stuff. And so this part, like you can't have dead space. You can't have things slowing down. So trying to keep up the um intensity and not and yet at the same time like give some development here and there still. Um, it's a little tricky, so that's what I'm doing while I'm waiting for my corn and my meal to cook outside at, on the grill, so. Ugh, it's hard work sometimes, but I love it. Well, I wanted to write on the couch, but then this little kitty snuck onto my lap. So, I guess we'll just have a kitty clip here. And a happy kitty it is. Yeah. <laughs> Don't read the book. Instead, pet me. And... <laughs> and that's where I'm, gonna, I'm going to end this video. I quick update about the book. I didn't get to write a lot today and yesterday, so. It wasn't great all around for for writing, but we're still working on Act 3. Should have that done by next weekend. So I'm really excited to give that to my mentor and see what she thinks about the progress that I've made. And I'm really excited for that. So if you like this video, please make sure to, be, to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Let's me know and the algorithm know that you like videos like this one. 
And if you haven't already, click subscribe. I release new videos every Thursday on all things writing and reading. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!